What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech, and I'm gonna show you a device that will cure your audio video problems on your TV. So if you're watching your TV using Bluetooth headphones and the audio and the video don't sync up, I'm gonna show you a solution that will work for you. Now, this is the AudiCast Plus transmitter. This has APTX low latency technology built into this device so you get the least amount of audio lag possible. The Ventry AudiCast Plus supports optical input, low latency, APTX technology, and you can connect two headphones at the same time. And the range is amazing, around 100 feet, which is around 30 meters, and it has built-in volume control. They also make a trans receiver, which is a transmitter and receiver built into one device. So you can use this to connect to your TV or you can connect it to your amp and play music from your phone to that amp even though the amp has no Bluetooth capability. This I'm going to use in a separate video so if you're interested in that post a comment below and I'll push out that video sooner. Now Venture did send me this transmitter and also these headphones so if you guys are interested in these headphones and the transmitter, check out the links in the video description below. Now let's go ahead and start with the tutorial. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. I already tested it out and everything, so it's already out of box, technically. But this is not an unboxing, this is a tutorial. It comes with a micro USB to USB cable that powers on the device, but it's also a data transfer cable. So you can connect it to your PC, your MacBook, or even the PS4 and listen to your audio that way. Now even Fire TV supports the USB audio cable. Now it also comes with the aux cable and it comes with the Y adapter. So if you have RCA audio output, it supports that. Now what's great about the AudiCast Plus is that it supports many inputs. So you got the USB cable if you want to connect it to your PC, MacBook, or PS4. Also supports Fire TV. So that would work as a power source and the audio input. And it supports digital optical input and it supports your aux input. So if you have a headphone jack on your TV, you could connect it to that and plug it into here and that would work as well. Or even RCA on the back of your TV, which I'm gonna show you soon. And you just turn on this device Turn on your headphones and they automatically pair up. So once you pair your headphones to this device, it saves to this device. Even if it's powered off or unplugged or switched off, it doesn't matter. It would be stored on this device and it stores up to two headphones. So you can play two headphones at the same time, which is great. Now this is the volume control right here. But of course you use the volume control on your TV remote or the headphones. That works as well. Now if you get static or any kind of distortion going on and you can't fix it by unplugging the power for 30 seconds or switching it on and off and you still get static, then you need to press and hold these two buttons down for about 15 seconds and that would factor a reset. And then you have to pair your headphones all over again. Now to pair your headphones, only thing you have to do is plug in the power and turn on the unit and it will automatically be in pairing mode. But if it's not, then you can simply press and hold the number one button down for three seconds to enter pairing mode and it will flash red and blue, red and blue. And then you have to pair your headphones, hold down the power button and it'll flash red and blue. And then after 30 seconds, it should pair to this unit. If it doesn't, you may have to do it all over again. Make sure you're not uh, wearing a Bluetooth smartwatch I had an issue where I couldn't connect and I think it was because I, either my phone had Bluetooth interference or my smartwatch. So keep that in mind. You just put it in airplane mode on uh, your watch and your phone and you should be good to go. The pair of the second headphones, make sure the first headphones are turned off completely. And then press and hold the number two button down for three seconds. And then you could pair your second pair of headphones and it will be stored. The light will turn solid blue when you have a good connection on the headphones and on the unit. 
If you need more help, there's a video guide, youtube.com forward slash Aventry. There is a coupon code. If you go to Aventry.com, you can use this code. So if you have RCA output on your TV, only thing you have to do is plug in the aux cable, and then you can plug this into your headphone jack on your TV, which mine has a headphone jack right here. This is a Signia Fire TV, so I can use that. But if you have RCA audio output, in that case, you would plug in the aux cable right into the Wyatt adapter, and then plug this into the audio output on your TV. If you want to use a digital connection, you can use the USB if your TV supports that. My TV is a Fire TV, so it does support that. Or you can use an optical cable like this one and plug it into the optical port on your TV. Now, it still does not have power. For power, you go ahead and plug in the micro USB cable right here and plug in to the USB port on your TV. It supports 5 volt. 500 milliamp up to two amp. Once you plug it in, then the lights will light up. As you can see right here, it auto detects optical, which is great. These are active noise canceling headphones, which is great if you have a loud ceiling fan or a loud PC like I do. That will eliminate that noise. All right, so let's go ahead and turn these on. All right, so it's already connected, but if you do wanna connect them, you just press and hold this button down for a couple seconds. It'll flash red and blue, red and blue. And then you do the same right here. Hold down the power button and it'll flash red and blue. Keep them together. All right, so it is connected. And do the same thing with the second pair of headphones. Press and hold the number two button down and then pair the headphones. All right, so LL is low latency. So right now we're getting low latency, which is great if you have two headphones on at the same time, you may not get low latency because it's transferring more data. And then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go to settings, go to display and sounds, and go to audio output. And you can turn the speakers off or on, but the TV should automatically detect if you're using headphones. So it should automatically turn off the TV speakers. If it doesn't, you can just manually turn them off. So let's leave them on and see if this works. And then digital audio format, select that. I have it on auto because the TV detects it. But if you're using an optical cable, you wanna use a digital source. And then if you're using an analog connection like the RCA output or the um, headphone jack, which is the um, aux cable, then that would be analog source. Yeah, no, I, I agree with Zach. There is no way to separate them. Even if you look at who the Lakers played in the prior series. So the audio and video sync up perfectly. So I noticed that the USB light lit up so I can unplug the optical cable. It's using the USB cable right here for power and data transfer and we still have low latency, which is great. Now, if you hit this button right here, it changes audio codecs, but of course you want low latency. That's gonna give you the best quality. And you can use the volume control. See, it works through the TV. Volume control on the TV remote, that would work through your headphones. And the volume also works on the headphones. See when I'm hitting volume, it goes through the TV. And what's really cool is if you hit pause and play on the headphones, it would actually pause and play on the TV. Since this is a Fire TV, and yes I know, Fire TVs have Bluetooth capability, I could connect my Bluetooth headphones to the Fire TV, but you may get the audio video sync issues because Fire TV and the standard Fire TV stick does not have 5.0 Bluetooth capability and they don't have aptx. I went ahead and did a Google search and I noticed that Fire TV and the standard Fire TV sticks, even the next generation standard Fire TV sticks, don't have Bluetooth 5.0 as of yet and it doesn't have aptx low latency technology. So you may get the audio video sync issues 
So this will be a solution. If you do get those issues, this will eliminate that issue. Now these are a very old pair of Aventry headphones. <laughs> I had these for years and I did have to replace the ear pads, which many headphones, you have to replace the ear pads eventually because this happens, they flake off over time. But that was a very easy replacement and uh, they still work and they're very durable. You're gonna turn them off. You wanna make sure that if your headphones are connected to another device, make sure you turn off the Bluetooth on that device. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and press and hold the number two button down. That's gonna enter Bluetooth mode, pairing mode, and then press and hold the pairing button down right here. Uh, one thing I forgot to do is I forgot to turn off these headphones. Let's try it again. Press and hold the pairing button down. All right, so once, all right, so we do have a solid blue light, so they are connected. I just had to try it a couple times by turning off those headphones and entering the Bluetooth again, pairing mode. Now I switched from low latency to FS. I think it's uh, stereo maybe, but we don't have low latency anymore because we have two headphones connected at the same time. I have these headphones turned off and if you turn them on, it should automatically connect to the transmitter. So after about five seconds, it will switch and then turn on. So if you have a solid blue light, that means you're connected. And a solid blue light here means you're connected to the second pair of headphones. So if you want the best quality, either use USB or the optical cable for the best audio quality. So guys, if you're interested in this transmitter that you can connect two headphones to, it has no audio video sync issues, go ahead and check out the link in the video description below. If you know anyone that may need a transmitter like this, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them, help someone out. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up, subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos. Later.